Warning. I am not responsible for the damage you do to your console for not following the guide correctly. If you have any issues, please comment down below. I will try my best to help out and respond as quick as I can. Thank you. So quickly before this video starts, I actually just finished recording this video. It's already been done and my Xbox is already on NXC. Um, I'm sorry, I guess, for just how long it took me to make this video. I know you guys have been asking for so long and I'm just, you know, I, I don't know why I put it off for so long, but I think now it's just finally time. I finally got around to it. I don't know why I seriously didn't do it. This is my most requested video ever on the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Simon, also known as Ordinary Joe, and welcome to literally the most requested tutorial that I ever do on this channel. I don't know why I closed my downloads. I actually need that. Give me one moment. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade your RGH3 or RGH or JTAG Xbox to NXE or pre-NXE, also known as the Blades dashboard. In this video, I'm assuming you already have dumped your NAND. As you can see, I have my Xbox 360 Slim RGH3 uh, NAND files here. This is a fresh NAND dump from when I first did my, uh, my RGH back in my gosh 2023 i would have been starting grade nine holy crap <laughs> that's a long time ago already so first things first you have your nan dump cool next you'll need to download something called j runner with the extras make sure you get with the extras you need the extras just extract that you know what i'm saying now you have j runner with extras the folder open that up run j runner as administrator you're gonna get this windows protected your pc yeah, I'm doing coding. It's not it's not an actual virus. Calm down, brother. Run as administrator and you'll get this wonderful, beautiful, for me, nostalgic uh, window. And now if you were literally just dumping your NAND like before following this tutorial, just do a quick thing. Just throw, excuse me, just. This was working two seconds ago, okay? Just throw one of your NAND dumps, actually both of your NAND dumps in here, just do the first one and the second one, you click load source and load extra, and you want to just click the compare button. Make sure they are the same, because if they are not, if you're ripping directly from the console with like a JR programmer or a, what the freak is out, Raspberry Pi Pico Flasher, is that what it is? My gosh, there's so much new stuff. Uh, personally, I do this with the X Flasher, I think. It's been way too long since I've done this. If your NAND's compared the same, then good. You can get rid of the extra one and just use your NAND dump one or NAND dump two, whatever, which one, you, whatever one you want. Now you want to go through this wonderful portion of uh, this program called XE Build, which is where you'll actually be creating your new NAND dump, which will be on the earlier versions. As you can see, kernel version, I can select 1559. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, this is this is the newest one that I have. Technically, it's 7511. Cool. You can now select which one you would like to create. XE Build is a program where you can update your dash without, uh, you know, literally going through the Xbox process where you update it and then you get your console banned because you're you're modded. Here, you can select Blades, NXE, Connect. Uh, the for I think 17489 is the first version of metro and then 17559 is actually the latest dashboard we are on in this case i'll be doing nxe because i'm doing this on my trinity which is a slim and slims cannot run blades as as far as for now that maybe in the future they will maybe they already can i'm just not aware i don't think they can at the moment and i'm not willing to search it up because i honestly i you know i really i like nxe more than pre nxe i'm sorry y'all and um, this is going to be for the RGH3. Maybe I'll do a video on the JTAG. Here, if you're doing this with RGH3, it should already select Glitch 2 if it isn't already. If you have just, if this is your stock NAND, Glitch 2, click the RGH3, 
and select the kernel version you want because you can do RGH3 with a uh, Jasper. Um, I think that one can't, I don't think that one can run blades yet. I don't know if RGH3 can even do blades yet. I know with JTAGs you can, I've because I've, I've used this before. I don't know if RGH3 can go down to blades. If it can, I think it can, but it has a... Uh, some problems whatever this will be just showing how to do just basic nxc i'll maybe do another video eventually um on how to do blades but now you want to click create xe build and now you'll see all this crap opening it's like oh my gosh what's going on nothing there's nothing going on now you can see in the jrunner with extras you can close jrunner in the jrunner with extras folder there will be now this numbered file you open that up wow you now have your brand new flash now what you want to do you want to download this wonderful tool called Flash 360. Here it is. Extract that. You'll now get this new folder and you open it up. This is a Xbox executable. Now what you want to do is you want to take your brand new Flash bin that you just created and you want to just move that sucker in there. When you launch Flash 360 XEX, it's going to, it's going to look for the UPD Flash bin. If it's not in the folder, I don't know if it searches your other uh, throughout the entire Xbox hard drive, but it's going to be looking for a UPD flash bin. You don't want to mix up your NXC with your brand new one because I think it'll choose either or and you know, I don't think you'll be able to do it. So keep it in flash 360 folder just so when you throw it onto your Xbox, you won't accidentally do something stupid. And because you know, because I'm actually planning on keeping this on my Xbox. I'm just going to call this NXE. So if I want to downgrade to NXE from the latest version. Because sometimes I go back and forth. Uh, especially if I want to play online and use stealth servers. By the way, food for thought. Um, you cannot use any stealth servers on 9199 or Blades. Um, the ones I showed in my videos were executables. Which I was still on the latest dashboard. I was still on the latest kernel, sorry. And I was just running the older dashboard with the latest kernel. Uh, there are multiple videos on how to do that. Just search it up. This is legit how to downgrade down to for real NXE and uh, eventually pre NXE when I get down to making that video. So now you want to stick in pause your USB drive. You want to just copy NXE or flash 360 whatever you named the file if you if you did or you didn't and you just want to smack it onto that usb drive just copy it over and i thought that was going to go away earlier and that's it that is all that is it that is all you need to do on the computer side of things i will see you on the console let's go all right so now on the console side of things as you can see i have my xbox 360 slim loaded up here throw in the usb that I was just working on that you guys saw two seconds ago. I accidentally clicked the sync button. And uh, there we go. Now what you wanna do, you wanna load up your one and only copy of legal software, XEX menu, load that up. Don't sign in. And here we are. Now what you want to do, we're already here on the USB. Uh, I made Metro just so I have a way to get back when I'm done. So select or highlight NXE, press Y, click copy, press X, HDD1, put it in a place you want. I have a utilities folder. So here I'll paste it into my utilities folder. Just like that, you're ready to go. But Gonna give myself a way back to the Metro dash. Copy uh, the Metro to here. Now you can launch up your NXE Flash 360. And here you want to press A, right UPD Flash to NAND. Uh, press A, raw flash with keeping current NAND. And press start. And then press A. You might remember this when I did my video back in 2019 on my JTAG. I had the same exact program. Press any button to continue. Click back. Click back again. Click back again to shut down. 
console was shut down. Just like that, it's off. Now, just unplug your USB and engage with nostalgia. Oh yeah, man. The real NXE. Ha ha. <laughs> and I think this is the same account. <laughs> this is the same account when I uploaded the uh, video of where I was in fact on uh, NXE uh, when my Xbox was all apart. I'm not sure if that video is still currently public. Um, am I, just to check, am I connected to the internet? Good. <laughs> I can actually sign into my default account. And okay, that's okay. Do not connect to Xbox Live because then you might accidentally not only update it, but you will instantly be banned. So here, this really is the real way to downgrade to NXE or pre-NXE if you have a compatible console. As you can see, dashboard 9199, kernel 9199. So just like that, you guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope you were able to downgrade your console without any issues. Comment down below because I may be able to help. But again, I am not responsible if you brick or get E79 or any NAND related issues. Thanks for watching. Peace.